who must yield when a driver is turning and a pedestrian is crossing without a traffic light? A. Whoever started moving last. B. The driver. C. Whoever is slower. D. The pedestrian. B. The driver. Drivers must yield to pedestrians when they are crossing at any intersection without a traffic light, whether or not there is a crosswalk. Your vehicle strikes an unattended parked vehicle and you cannot locate the vehicle's owner. You. A. Have done as much as you can. B. Must stay until the police arrive. C. Must leave a written notice containing your name, your address, and the circumstances of the accident. D. May go on your way. C. Must leave a written notice containing your name, your address, and the circumstances of the accident. Upon striking an unattended vehicle, stop and try to locate the owner. If you cannot find the owner, leave a written notice containing your name, your address, and the circumstances of the accident. You are driving when it begins to rain. You should a. Drive faster than surrounding traffic. b. Drive at the maximum posted speed limit. c. Slow down. d. Drive closely behind the vehicle in front of you. C. Slow down. When heavy rain reduces visibility, reduce your speed. Turn on your headlights so other drivers can see your vehicle. If the rain is so heavy that you are unable to see clearly, drive onto the shoulder and stop until the rain lets up. When getting ready to change lanes, you should A. Check your side view mirror. B. Check your rear view mirror. C. Quickly turn your head to check for other vehicles. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Before changing lanes, check your side and rear view mirrors for traffic approaching you from behind. Just before you begin moving into the other lane, quickly glance over your shoulder and check for any vehicles that may be in your blind spot. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. You are driving on a divided multi-lane highway and see or hear the signal of an approaching emergency vehicle. You should A. Disregard the signal if there are other lanes available for the emergency vehicle. B. Stop as quickly as you can. C. Slow down, move your vehicle to provide a clear path for the emergency vehicle, and stop. D. Increase your speed to get out of the way of the emergency vehicle. C. Slow down, move your vehicle to provide a clear path for the emergency vehicle, and stop. If you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle, you must slow down, provide a clear path for the vehicle, and stop. Don't try to outdrive the emergency vehicle. When driving under icy or snowy conditions, which driving technique will help drivers avoid crashes? A. Add extra weight to their vehicles to improve traction. B. Get off the highways as quickly as possible. C. Engage the four-wheel drive on their vehicles. D. Reduce their speed and increase their following distance. D. Reduce their speed and increase their following distance. Reduce your speed when roads are snow covered or icy. Doing this and increasing your following distance are the most important techniques for avoiding crashes under snowy or icy conditions. As you drive, you're required to stop your vehicle. A. At an intersection with a stop sign. B. Where there is a red light. C. When a traffic officer orders you to stop. D. All of the above. 
You are approaching a railroad crossing and you do not see or hear a train. You must stop. A. If a stop sign is posted. B. If a crossing gate is lowered. C. If the crossing lights are flashing. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must always stop before crossing railroad tracks if flashing red lights are activated, a crossing gate is lowered, a stop sign is posted, a flagger signals you to stop, or a train is visible or so close to the crossing that it would be hazardous to continue driving. If you are unsure if a train is too close for you to safely cross the tracks, stop. Never race a train. When passing another vehicle on a road with two lanes traveling in opposite directions, you should a. Return to the driving lane when there's enough room between you and the vehicle you passed. b. Remain in the left lane if you intend to turn left. c. Return to the right side of the roadway immediately. d. Drive in either lane. A. Return to the driving lane when there's enough room between you and the vehicle you passed. When passing another vehicle on a two-lane roadway, you must return to the right side of the roadway when there is enough room between you and the vehicle you have passed. This road sign means A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. B. U-turns are prohibited. C. You may proceed if the way is clear. D. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. If you drive past these signs, you are going the wrong way and are at risk of a head-on collision. You should cautiously turn around. This sign means A. Yield. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Keep right. D. Yield ahead. When should drivers use hand-to-hand -hand steering? A. When turning the steering wheel during normal driving activity. B. When anti-lock brakes are engaged. C. When turning at low speeds. D. When backing or when momentarily turning on blinkers, the radio, or windshield wipers. A. When turning the steering wheel during normal driving activity. Use hand-to-hand -hand steering when turning the steering wheel during normal driving activity. Hand-to-hand -hand steering is also commonly called push-pull steering. This sign means A. Watch for trucks. B. Do not pass trucks. C. Truck parking area ahead. D. Steep downgrade ahead. D. Steep downgrade ahead. This sign warns of the presence of a hill ahead. This sign means a. Traffic signal. B. Fire station. C. T. Intersection. D. Left turn signal. A. Traffic signal. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming traffic signal. They should be prepared to respond to a yellow light, red light, and or cross traffic. What can you do to avoid the need to make emergency stops while driving in traffic? A. Honk your horn to make others aware of your presence. B. Look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. C. Drive in the right lane only. D. Drive more slowly than the flow of traffic. B. Look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. Keeping a safe following distance will enable you to react to an upcoming problem without the need for an emergency stop. 
which could cause a driver behind you to crash into the back of your vehicle. Car drivers should know that large trucks a. have large blind spots b. can stop more quickly than passenger vehicles c. do not need more room to maneuver than passenger vehicles d. all of the above a. have large blind spots A large truck has large blind spots to the front, sides, and rear of the vehicle. Avoid lingering in these areas. Because of their larger size and weight, trucks require more room to maneuver and stop than passenger vehicles. You are waiting to turn left at a multi-lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should a. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. b. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. C. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. D. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. Which of the following best ensures your safety and the safety of those around you when you are backing your vehicle? A. Honk your horn right before shifting into reverse. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. C. Check your rearview mirrors to see what is behind you. D. Turn up the car radio before backing up to get the attention of anyone who may be around you. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. Backing requires extra caution because it is difficult for drivers to see behind their vehicles. Before entering a vehicle to back up, walk to the back of the vehicle to check for children and small objects. This sign is a warning that you are approaching. A. An intersection. B. A crosswalk. C. A railroad crossing. D. A blasting zone. C. A railroad crossing. This sign indicates that you are approaching a railroad crossing. Your ability to stop is affected by A. Signal lights B. Other cars on the road C. The time of day D. The condition of the road The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Stop. D. Start up. C. Stop. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended downward, they are indicating that they intend to stop. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Drowsy drivers? A. Should drink strong black coffee to stay awake. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. C. Can stay alert by opening a window and turning up the radio. D. Are usually only older drivers. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. Drowsiness can make people drive so poorly that they appear to be drunk. Opening a window, turning on the radio, or drinking coffee is not enough to make a drowsy driver alert to roadway hazards. This sign means A. Crossroad ahead. B. Flagger ahead. C. Lane ends. D. Turn right or go straight. A. Crossroad ahead. 
Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming intersection. If two vehicles arrive to an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, A. The largest vehicle has the right of way. B. The car on the left has the right of way. C. The car on the left shall yield to the car on the right. D. The car on the right shall yield to the car on the left. C. The car on the left shall yield to the car on the right. If two vehicles arrive at the same time to an uncontrolled intersection, the driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. The driver on the left may then proceed when it is safe to do so. You must not drive your vehicle at a speed greater than a. The maximum speed limit. b. A speed that is faster than is reasonable and prudent. c. A speed that is safe for existing conditions. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. You must not drive at a speed that is faster than is reasonable and prudent. You must drive at a speed that is appropriate for the area where you are driving, the type and condition of surrounding traffic, the presence of pedestrians, the weather, the quality of the road, and light conditions. You must drive within legal speed limits. This sign means A. The highway ahead curves only to the right. B. The highway ahead turns sharply to the right. C. The highway ahead curves to the right and then to the left. D. The highway ahead curves to the left and then to the right. C. The highway ahead curves to the right and then to the left. Warning signs are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazardous conditions and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that the road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means A. Passing on the left is permitted from either direction. B. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken line. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the solid line. D. Passing is not allowed from either direction. B. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken line. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that passing is allowed from the lane on the side next to the broken line. If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? A. Drink coffee before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. C. Take a cold shower before driving. D. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is stay in your car and wait for help. You are most likely to be found if you don't leave your vehicle. Additionally, it may be unsafe to walk around outside in a snowstorm.
When may you pass on the right shoulder of a road? A. Never. B. When the car in front of you is driving too slowly. C. When the car in front of you is turning. D. When the shoulder is paved. A driver approaching a flashing red traffic signal must A. Slow down at the light. B. Drive carefully without stopping. C. Merge to the right. D. Stop before entering the intersection. D. Stop before entering the intersection. A flashing red light means that you must stop, yield to traffic and pedestrians, and go only when it is safe. At a railroad crossing, a flashing red light indicates that a train is approaching. Yield to the train, and go only when the lights have stopped flashing and all other active warning devices deactivate. To ensure that your physical condition does not cause you to drive in an unsafe manner, you should A. Keep physically fit and have regular physical examinations. B. Know the effect of any medicine on your driving ability. C. Drive within your physical limitations. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Your physical condition has an important bearing on your ability to drive safely. Drivers should be aware of their physical limitations and only drive if it is safe to do so. On most roadways, drivers should signal. Fill in the blank. Before a turn. A. 500 feet. B. 300 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 50 feet. C. 100 feet. When making a turn or lane change, be sure to alert other drivers to your intentions by using your turn signals. On most roadways, signal at least 100 feet before the turn. On highways, you should signal at least 500 feet before the turn. If a crossing guard is directing traffic in a school zone, you must A. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. B. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the crossing guard's instructions. C. Assume the guard is not supposed to be directing traffic. D. Follow rules that would be in place if no children were present. A. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. Be prepared to reduce your speed and use caution when directed to do so by a sign, crossing guard, or law enforcement officer. Always drive with extra caution in a school zone. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as A. The effect that alcohol has. B. The effect that amphetamines have. C. The effect that anger has. D. The effect that driving with teenagers has. Passing is prohibited. A. On hills and curves. B. At intersections. C. At railroad crossings. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Locations where it is unlawful and unsafe to pass another vehicle include hills, curves, intersections, and railroad crossings. On slippery roads, you should A. Slow down. B. Drive more quickly. C. Drive the speed limit, with caution. D. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. A. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit.
you may cross double solid yellow lines? A. To pass a slow moving truck. B. To turn into a driveway. C. To pass another car. D. Under no conditions. If an aggressive driver cuts you off, you should A. Call the police immediately. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. C. Flash your vehicle's lights to let the aggressive driver know he is wrong. D. Use a driving action of your own to get back at the aggressive driver. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. If an aggressive driver cuts you off on the roadway, stay calm and get out of their way. Trying to get even with an aggressive driver risks escalating the situation and increasing the danger. You cannot pass safely on a two-way, two-lane street unless A. You are able to clearly see the road ahead. B. You can return to your lane before meeting oncoming traffic. C. Your vehicle is capable of the speed necessary to pass. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You cannot pass safely when driving on a two-way, two-lane street unless you can clearly see the road ahead, you can return to your lane before meeting oncoming traffic, and your vehicle is capable of the speed necessary to pass. Do not pass where it is illegal and unsafe to do so.